Hello, y'all. I come to talk to y'all for a few minutes. Um, I have not really done too much because me and Charles have been stuck in a ditch. And um, so I, I ain't got a lot done, y'all. But I want to talk about, I know, before you even say anything, I want to talk about the uh, monkey pox and the smallpox. Now, I know. Wait a minute. Let me explain. The monkey pox... It's not that bad. I've done my research on it, and and from what I know, it caused fatigue, headaches, diarrhea, and a little bit of fever. Um, the smallpox is a lot more dangerous than the monkeypox. But you know what? This is going to be going on over here when you need to be paying attention to over here, here. Here, right here, here. <laughs> because if you uh, start paying attention to something that's moving a little bit over here, then your mind's going to be off the tension of over there. So, because there are something bigger coming on, coming, and we all know it. It's coming, and we got to be alert. So, Let's be watching over here instead of over there. Um, my son-in-law works for Nissan. And if he don't get his parts in that they need for his job. Now, his parts come from China. And they go to Texas. And then from Texas to Alabama. And we all know that there's fixed to be some truckers that walk off and leave the jobs. We all know this. It's coming. And my son-in-law might lose his job. My daughter, she's going to lose her job. Because we're they're not going to get the food. They're not going to get the stuff they need for the restaurants. He's not going to get the stuff that they need for their plant, for the Nissan plant. All Everything that he <clears throat> uses at his job comes from China. So this is, this is where the big thing is fixing to start happening. I know we already got people that's lost their jobs, that's walked off their jobs. I know this. And they're out here and they're hurting. But y'all, it's fixing to get a little bit worse. And we all know this. Um, now, they want us to focus on something else that we don't need to. I ain't saying not to keep an eye out on it. You know? I'm not saying don't be careful. I'm saying there is something bigger coming to play than meets the eye. And it all it tells us in the Bible, do not put your trust in man. And we all got to pray about this situation. This is all coming together. And that's what they want. So, if they can get just a little bit more control, that's what they're going to do. Um, Y'all know it. And we all know that's what's coming down. So, we, we got to prep for our families, um, our daughters, our grandkids, everybody. We got to print... You know, it's about to drive me nuts because some days I figure I got too much and then something tells me I don't have enough to keep going and keep going, keep prepping. And I, 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 I don't think I could stand it if one of my kids or grandbabies come to me and said they was hungry. You know, that stays on my mind and that's what keeps pushing me, pushing me to keep prepping. And I don't see how anybody could say that they feel like they would be blowing money if they prepped. I've been told that 
we've been told that they ain't no shortages. And I don't see how, I just don't see, they're not going to make it, y'all. Um, but we got to pray. We got to pray for them that don't understand. We got to pray that God will give them the knowledge to understand of what's going on before it's really too late. I know a lot of stuff is a lot higher than what it was about four months back. But still, um, you still got to keep on pushing and keep on prepping. Um, so don't worry about what's going on over here when you got dynamite is fixed to blow up over there. <laughs> right, Charles? Right. But anyway, this is going to be a long video. Um, I worry about my grandkids. And I know it says I ain't supposed to worry. But when it comes to your grandkids, you worry. And um, so I hope y'all have a good night. And I'll see y'all in the morning. I'll do another video. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll talk about some stuff tomorrow. Um, today I didn't have time to do anything because we got stuck. And I apologize for that, y'all. Um, but some, sometimes you ain't got control over things that happen sometimes, though. But I love y'all, and y'all have a blessed night. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.